So I have my first script done. I nearly finished with the second script. There's the train, just as I start my voiceover. Um, the second script is a little bit more difficult because I think it's a little bit more complicated. It's just going to be, a, not sure, a longer story, but I'm trying to figure out how to cut it down a lot. Um, here are my thumbnails for this first section, first comic. Um, I'm just going to do this, even though you probably can't even like <laughs> understand my uh, thumbnails. But what I've done is I've gone through and just laid down really roughly. Thanks, Mochi. Thanks for that. I've just laid down really roughly all the panels and I've been realising that maybe we just need maybe a couple more pages to help explain the story because it kind of goes from zero to ten really quickly. Um, so I'm going to be working on that, trying to figure out what... I can put in between the sections to bring the story make it more round but yeah these are the thumbnails and they don't make sense to you probably but you can probably see like where I've just written notes and where I think some panels should maybe be exchanged because it makes more sense sequentially can you walk off Mochi <laughs> um, yeah so that's that done now I'm thinking, what do I want to do um, developmental, like creative concept art wise? And I'm just doing some like character designs here. And also I've been doing some like images of antiques and things like that. Because obviously in this first comic, a picture of my is the name of the comic, I think. Although I'm not sure if it sounds a little bit too like innuendo <laughs> because it's going to be a picture of my and then like my crossed out because <clears throat> she thinks it looks like a relative of hers but maybe it is maybe it isn't um but yeah I'm just doing some like design work at the moment I'm really happy with this image so what I did here is it's like watercolor and then um <clears throat> my favorite polychromos pencils on top but also alcohol markers so it's a mix of like everything mixed media which is something I enjoy using I really like the idea of playing with um, like the character a little bit more this time because I feel like my previous comics My previous comics, um, I think the design, I liked the design, but I didn't really focus too much on um, the characters' designs. I did like a little bit, but I think I need to like just try a little bit more this time. So these are the two women from these stories. And I feel like her design changed a lot throughout like the comic a little bit. Like I try to keep it consistent, but maybe she doesn't I don't know I think it's okay but I think I want to something I want to improve on definitely um so yeah it was something really interesting that I was thinking about doing is because this is going to take place in an antique store the beginning of this new comic is what I was saying so I've been looking at like designing antiques and stuff and I always like to do like an end paper so this one was like a house and then I liked having these two portraits maybe I have a portrait of the characters the main characters of these ones as well to like kind of continue on with these designs um one second but in Emily is burning I did these like end pages of this pattern which I really liked so I was thinking what I could do is have a pattern or an end paper of um antiques or like bits and bobs so there's this um like there's loads obviously online on pinterest and stuff for thrifting objects and things but i was thinking maybe i could do something like this where they have like just um you know when you have a flat lay of like different items and i thought this would be really cute for like the beginning page or something even though it doesn't, the book isn't really, you know, focused on antiquing or anything like that, but it's mentioned in the beginning and that's what she does to find this picture. 
So I thought it could be really nice. I don't know. What do you guys think? I'm also like working on style. I think what I like to do at the moment is work with, well, it's not watercolor, it's gouache, but I'm using it kind of like watercolor because I'm just like watering it down. And then going over the top with pencils and alcohol markers. And just, yeah, I think this is kind of the vibe that I'm feeling for these ones because in um, the other comics, I obviously just did all alcohol markers with pencils and I feel like it does. I really do like that style. Like I like the way the colors pop, but I'm kind of feeling um, using this style maybe for this one. I don't know, I'm kind of, you know, expanding my <laughs> style a little bit because these ones are like more pencil like Emily is burning is definitely more I could definitely see more texture like more pencil work I don't know maybe that's a lie because in wishing on a star there's loads of pencils or stuff um so it's always been I've always worked mixed media so as long as I keep the style kind of consistent with these ones it could work as like a set of comics that you could get from me I don't know it's just my idea at the moment and I'm really enjoying it I'm really enjoying the process I'm trying to take it slow like I said a little bit slower than I did with these ones um but I don't know I've, I'm working obviously as well so I, I get a little bit burnt out so I'm trying to take it easy because burnout is real and uh obviously <laughs> I have to just if I can feel that like burnout phase coming I have to really take it slow and I don't know if it's the same with you guys I haven't finished this one but this is kind of like just I did a whole base of watercolors and I was gonna draw like a whole town and just do pencils on top and I kind of like the way it looked it's like really texturized and it's just a rough like a rough example of something that I might look into doing but I'm not sure I'm not sure I do really like the way that the alcohol markers look with the pencil so it's tough to like make a decision here are some preliminary work um, that you probably saw in the last vlog but I'll just show you again this was just like ideation for me I when I first have an idea for a comic I don't know I just drew this out and I was like oh what if like a girl goes into an antique store and sees a picture of someone who looks like a family member who could look like your mother or her grandmother or something and what if she like then goes and shows her mum on the phone who maybe lives somewhere else so she couldn't come in contact and it just it's blurry on the phone and then what happens if she leaves the frame and things like that so that's kind of what this progression was I started out just drawing like different houses on Pinterest and then I drew like a girl and I was like oh that's kind of nice and yeah and then I drew an antique store because I was always thinking I want to do a story involving antiques somehow and I also have a picture of I think the original idea came from I have a picture of my parents at their wedding and it's a really old frame and it like broke a little bit so I put it back together and it's just like having that idea because obviously I think either my mother put this frame together or my granny so it's like the idea of somebody doing that and like putting the papers in I don't know spark something in me uh, but yeah that's kind of where the idea came from and then I wrote out everything roughly like story beats and then I typed it all up on the laptop and like I said if you weren't here for the last um, vlog or any of my stuff um, I write out the pages so I write page one and then I write each panel that's going to show up on the page and then it gives me a clear picture of how roughly like how thick the comic is going to be and how much work I have ahead of myself and then it also helps me to kind of figure out the layout of the pages when it comes to the thumbnails which are here like I said so yeah it's coming along um this one is definitely coming along um the water park one which I'm so excited about I do need to work on that a little bit more I need to come up with kind of how it's going to end and finalize um sometimes I have the ending really clear in my head of where I want to go and sometimes it just it just happens um so I need to think about it a little bit more um to be honest I haven't really spent that much time 
focusing on it because I've been more focused on this one, but I'm going to, I'm going to, so we'll have like maybe a collection. I'm thinking about doing a Kickstarter for them this time, so yeah, that's, that's me, that's basically it, and uh, I hope that you guys enjoyed this video super casual super just showing the process maybe you guys are making your own comics lots of people always say that these kind of help them to make comics so that's always like a really cool outcome um for me doing these videos so i hope that you like this more relaxed version of these videos and uh well hope to see you next time bye